Lower 2 Football 10 will be the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football related category. And today, we're joined by Faisal. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good to be back again. Yeah. Last time, it was a good little W. Let's see if we can do it back to back. I mean, you won, but you did expose yourself with the uh, Yeri Nina shout. Uh, don't remind me. Don't remind me of that one. I enjoy moments like that. That's what I do this for. I'll give you a category first because this is a this is a nice warmer up one. And okay. what I'd like to name me are ten Eredivisie teams. Ooh, ooh! It's quite an interesting one. I think you'll get a good five or six, and then it's those. Okay. The usual, of course, Ajax, mm -hmm. PSV. Yep, PSV. Uh, Feyenoid. There we go. There's the probably biggest three. Biggest three. Uh, let's go with Vitesse. That's an interesting. I, I will let you have it, but they're actually not in the Eredivisie this season. I don't. Th are they not? Oh, maybe they are. Oh, they are. They are. No. Oh, it's Vitesse Armen. There, there we go. I yeah, found Vitesse. them. Sorry. They're so Second bottom in the league. <laughs> Let's go with Heroven. Heroven is tenable. That's where uh, Martin Erdegaard went on loan to, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? Exactly. Let's go with Hercules. Hercules, yeah. We'll go for that. You'd think uh, that'd be in Greece, but no. It's in, <laughs> so how, many, how many have we got so far? You've got six so far, okay. as I said. And now, now we get to the interesting ones. Now it gets to the interesting ones, exactly. If I say a club and they're based in the second division, is that, is that a strike? I might let you have it, to be honest. I might, I might be nice, okay, at least. Uh, uh, I'm sure there is a club called Adun Haag. That was the one that Pardew managed at. Yeah. Den Haag. Yeah, that one. That's I'll let you have it. But I think I think they are second era divisie at the minute. Okay. Well done for those second tier era divisie teams. I've got another second division team. Can I mention that? Or, 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 yeah, or, yeah. Uh, Emen. Emen. E double M E N. I think that is right. Yeah, that does ring a bell. You are missing some bigger era divisie teams, oh, to be fair. Um, They're like. Uh, uh, Groningen. Groningen. That's where Groningen, Robin. Yeah, former That's team. Where Robin, of Robin. Ro yeah, Robin went to retire. From. Oh, oh my god, 20. Yeah, 20. There's there's a big one. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is terrible. Is that your full 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go, full 20. Uh, 10, sorry, with 20. One of the bigger ones you missed was AZ Alkmaar. They're, oh they're another my big god, team. AZ. Yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. There's Go Ahead Eagles. I always remember that just because it's just a funny name. Like just calling your team Go Ahead Eagles <laughs> uh, in my head. But yeah, there's a few in there. Obviously, the Dutch people will just fly through that. Non Dutch people, maybe not so much. <laughs> You know what? As you started with the, the nice one, I'm going to give you a nice one as well. I'm going to give you one about your own club. This season, you've got 11 non-English players in your team. Ooh. Can you name the non-English players in your team? There is 11 first team and there is three yep. youngsters, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to count, I'm going to count that as well, but just, just name me 10. Yep, yep. We will start off with Conor Horahan from Ireland. That is correct. That is the first yep. one. I was wondering if you were going to be conscious. No, like, no, no, no. I, I was yeah. thinking. I, I was thinking it going to be really bad to go, no, he's English. Come on. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking, but no, no, no. I can't, I, I'm not going to no, be no, that no. harsh. Yeah, the Irish, the Irish would absolutely yeah, kill you for I that. Know, um, I know. Let's go for a bit of Craig Forsyth. Exactly, the defender, Scottish Left defender. Back. That's two. Yeah. He's been at the club for I think a decade now something like that anyway oh wow do you know there's a player at MK Dons that's been there for 20 years since the formation of the club 20 years oh wow yeah he's been at the club the whole time he's even been like caretaker manager like three times oh wow let's try James Collins the striker James Collins is correct that's three let's go Connor Washington Northern Connor Irish Connor Washington is correct that's four very nice there we go we've got Ryan Niambe at uh, that's correct right back from Gambia or was it no it's Namibia is isn't it? It is Namibia, correct. And then from Gambia, it's Ebu Adams. It is correct. That is six so far. Uh, alone, alone from Cardiff. Player. Yeah, yeah. You know that Henderson clip that went around yesterday oh. where he's like running after somebody? That clip was so bad. Ebu Adams does that when he's like absolutely taking somebody out. Henderson's just ran the length of the pitch. Like he's not done anything like, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like the passion, but at the same time, it's, it's weird from Henderson doing it when he's just ran. And then expecting the fans to, to, to promise stand up and give him an applaud. Come on, man. It's your job, mate. Have some shame. Come on, man. Oh, from Sierra Leone. I'm pretty sure this works. Terry's Fauna. That is absolutely correct. That's seven. Yeah. I've actually forgotten our best player uh, from Guatemala, Mendes Lang. That is correct. From Guatemala. He's got no neck, but he's got a massive. <laughs> Love that chant. Let's go for Aaron Cashin. Oh, yeah, Aaron Cashin, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Irish. And we'll go for somebody down under. We'll go for Callum Elder from Australia. 
Callum Elder is per per perfectly correct. There we go. Uh, that's 10 Lovely. out of 10. Yeah. Let me know the ones that I missed. Uh, you missed Darren Robertson. Oh, yeah, from the under 21s. Yeah. And yeah, then, he's Northern Irish. And then that's three more, all just youngsters, I'm, I'm sure. So a guy called Cruz Allen, Daniel Cuck, and Lennon Weldon. Fair enough. There, there's some niche ones. But yeah, it's, it's a very English. Like, we literally always have English and Irish. And then there's the occasional bit and bob here. It's not like, you know, your big Premier League teams where you get everyone from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, but 10 out of 10 is a good start for you. Yeah, very nice. Going into the next round, kind of a good category. I'd like to name me our 10 current players that are on loan. Ooh, 10 current players that's on loan. That's a good one. Let's start with my team, Jose Lu. Mm hmm. He's tenable. Oh, wow. This is actually a bit more difficult than I thought. <laughs> Let's start with City. City, they don't have anyone on loan. United. I mean, can we count? Can I count regularly on for, for Brentford? Yeah, regular on. That does work. Well done. Perfect. United, no one else. Oh, uh, no, th they do have one. Sofiane Amrabat. There you go. There's, there's Man United's current one. I think they're paying like 8 million for eight the million. loan. Yeah, yeah, then, 8 million, yeah. And it will go permanent at the end of the season. Newcastle, I don't Ooh, Newcastle is... It's Lewis Hall, a loan signing with option to buy. Wait, uh, are you including option to buy as well, or is it just loan? Yeah, yeah. If if it's if they're on loan right now, and then there's an option to buy, I'll count. I, I think can't I think I think Lewis Hall has got an option to buy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is tenable. Well done. Aston Villa. I don't think there's anyone. Yeah, it's uh, quite a big one. Oh, uh, what from in world football? In world football, uh, not in the Premier League. Not in the all right Bundesliga. <laughs> Serie A. Serie A's a good way to go. Okay, let's start with Roma. They've got the the young centre back, which they brought from Juve. Oh, I forgot his name. I can see his face as well. Again, I can't see his name. He's from Juventus. He's a centre back from from Juventus. He's Let's... Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Dutch. the one. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I forgot his name. Six foot five. Six foot f uh, exactly. Juve, Juve, Juve. They had Lucatelli, but I think now he's. I think now, it, it, has Lucatelli been confirmed or is it still option to buy? You know, I'll, I'll say Lucatelli because I think, I think it is a loan for a year or two because they because they did it with Kesa. Kesa with a, a, was a was a loan deal for a year or two and then they signed him permanently. Mm -hmm. Let me say Lucatelli. Lucatelli has been on loan at Juventus for two seasons, but they did make it permanent in the summer, so it's oh! not tenable, unfortunately. <laughs> Hey. There are a few others at Roma, to be fair. That's three others at Roma. Yeah. Uh, Matic, that's not a loan deal. Pellegrini, they've got that. Dybala, they've got that. El Sharavi is not a loan. Are you playing with me? Up, for, up front. Tammy Abraham, no. Bellotti, no. Who else? Who else? Tammy, okay. <laughs> I feel bad for him now. I feel bad for him now. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, now I feel, now I feel, wait. Tammy <laughs> Bellotti, and then who? Oh my God, Romelu Lukaku. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, if you didn't get Lukaku, I was so bad if you didn't get him, but yeah, you got him in the end. There are a few mothers at Roma, but obviously, weirdly, you've missed, you've said so many other, like, you've missed all the loans. What, well, midfielders, yeah, defenders, anything of that sort? Yeah, or? midfielders, another attacker, a defender. Is Ronaldo Sanchez on loan? I think he is. Uh, let me say, uh, Ronaldo Sanchez. Ronaldo Sanchez is tenable from PSG. From PSG. You're missing the big one. He's in the Bundesliga, I'll give you that. It can't be Bayern, unless Dyer is a loan deal with options. I don't think he is. I think they signed him permanently. But I don't usually do that because their strikers is all the same. Midfield mm -hmm. is the same. But Dortmund, who did Dortmund sign this summer? Oh, no. oh in January. Oh, in January. Mm. Actually, you know what? I, that's that's one person. I, I read a stat. He plays for Reading. Dembele. Dembele at Reading. Not Reading. Maybe it's a championship club because I saw something that... Oh, uh, Blackpool, I think you Black, mean. Blackpool, yes. I think he saw, I yeah. saw his goal contribution. He's got a lot, but he's on loan from a French club. Karamoko Dembele is tenable. He's on loan oh. at Blackpool from Brest. That was a... That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so the way you've got that pretty. I've got no, I know, because I remember they had a guy called Dembele in Dortmund. So, and I saw mm. I saw the stat on uh, on Twitter this morning about the guy. Fair enough. Uh, am I missing anyone like from um, from the top clubs around the world? Or yep, you might have said the club as well. I hate when I do that. PSG. They had Gonzalo Ramos, but they but but I think they confirmed. Uh, did they confirm? Because they because it was an it was a loan deal with the option to buy. I'm not sure whether they confirmed it or not. Let me say Gonzalo Ramos, because I don't think they, they've confirmed it, because he has, he's barely played this summer. Well, Carlo Ramos, weirdly, I think he might... So he has been on loan, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they made it permanent in January. That's what I'm looking at here. I wouldn't say it's a current loan, so I can't really class it anyway, but uh, that's the wonders of loans to permanence. It's uh, a bit of a weird one, that. Ooh, uh, yes, Chavez Simmons on loan uh, to Leipzig. Yeah, there you go. There is a good one. Another one in the Bundesliga still. Another 
number one in Bundesliga still. One of the most expensive players. Ooh, Leicester at Leipzig. Loan deal, uh, Timo Werner to Spurs. Yeah, there you go. There's, there's one. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't one of the most expensive players I'm thinking of, but uh, it does work at least. So you're now on nine. So you just need one more. Oh, well, how many lives? One life. One oh. life left. Ooh, okay. Who are you thinking about? The most expensive Bundesliga signing is, is usually in Bayern. So are you trying to imply, Luke, that Bayern has got a loan player? There are other teams in the Bundesliga. Oh, 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 my bad. I thought um, I thought you meant Bayern. My bad, my bad, my bad. No, 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 no. My bad. Not Leipzig as well. I'll give you that. Dortmund? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Dortmund. It's not a Hella. It's not Brandt. Malin. I think I think they sold Malin. I think he went back to the, the Dutch. Let me, you know what? I think I've wasted too much time. And, and let me just say Malin. Daniel Malin. He's not on loan. He's still at Borussia Dortmund. And there's your final life. <laughs> the most expensive. Actually, no. Jude, Jude would have took the record now. But before that, there was an Englishman at Dortmund. Oh, Sancho. To, oh, what am I yeah, thinking? Yeah, Jaden Sancho. Oh, at, my uh, God. What is it? <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I'll take nine points, but that was bad. That was bad. Yeah, I mean, there's there's probably a lot of other things out there that you could have said. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I'm, I'm sure you could figure some stuff in the uh, comments. Okay. Right. There is only nine answers, so it's not a tenable. It's nineable. However, if you get all nine, I'm gonna give you the additional point to make it ten. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so <laughs> safe. I can't, if I can only get nine, and you go, yeah, that, that's it. All you get is nine. Uh, so Andy this one, me. this one's quite interesting. We're living in now in an era of GAs, just GAs, GAs, GAs. Can you tell me the uh, in the Premier League era most goal involvement in a Premier League season by a player? That's there a is good one. One player has done it in two seasons. I think for only that player specifically can. Can you just tell me the two seasons? But for the obvious, you can just name them. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So goal and, goals and assists in a season. Yeah, goals and so assists. So is this season. like post... 2010 or no that is from 1992 to now so literally combined over I don't quite get the no no, no. so the most goal in one, in one season for a player in one season right so, okay, so if you combine season. so right. you can combine their goals and their assists yep. in one season yeah, yeah I've got you weirdly I don't know why I want to start with Yaya Toure I know he did a 2020 one season Yaya Toure unfortunately yeah, good. it's not it's, good, uh, yeah, yeah. it's not tenable because some of them were in the Champions League ah that would be it That'll be it, sure. There's some big, big hitters on this list. Let's try Wayne Rooney. And the big hitters is not Wayne Rooney. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit baffled at this category. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like trying to. In my head, Rooney and Yaya would have like 30 contribution season, if that makes sense. No, no, you're right with that thing. But the person who's in ninth place is, has mm -hmm. got 39. Right. And Brilliant. the person at top place is yeah. on 47. Yeah, That's let's both go goals and assists. Harlan, then. Harlan is correct. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then we'll go Mo Salah. And yep. Mo Salah is correct. He had 30 mm -hmm. goals and 9 assists. Lovely. Now I'm debating Sun or Kane as me next. Yes. Let's go Harry Kane. And Harry Kane. It's not tenable, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's not tenable. That's a shame. I'm not sure if I if I did you with this one. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to give you the top nine. Number yeah, yeah, one go on, is run, run through. Aaron Shearer, 34 goals, 13 assists. Yep. Andy Cole, 34 goals, 13 assists. You forgot the, the main one, which I'm quite surprised you forgot him. Mr. 2020, Titi Henry, 24 goals, 20 assists. I don't know. I don't know why I've not gotten older, to be honest. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have tried my shearers and Luis Suarez, Omri's. Luis Suarez, 31 goals, mm -hmm. 12 assists. Uh, then you had Robert Van Persie, 30 goals, 9 assists. And then you had Didier Drogba, 29 goals and 10 assists. Very nice. Yeah, Drogba's a good one. But yeah, I, I think I, basically I in my I, head. Luke, I don't know, Luke. I I've, think you could have had it, you know. I think I've made it more complicated in my head than it needed to be. That's, yeah. that's what I've done. Yeah. I take my apology back. I think uh, I think it's a good one. I think starting with Yaya Torre, it was an awful put. I don't know why he even went down that avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's hindsight. Well, hey, listen, you got two points, man. <laughs> well, I've not actually, like, really worked out my final category in terms of the answer. Obviously, I will find out the answers. But what I'd like to name me are 10 footballers that have had bans. Oh, <laughs> that is interesting. I mean, how long is the ban? I mean, it has to be, like, kind of... <sighs> At least like a month. I think that's probably a fair. Okay. It can't be a red card suspension ban if that makes sense. Of course, of like, course. Okay, yeah. let's go with the guy who's literally had a ban last week, which pained my heart, Mr. Paul Neville Pogba. Yeah, that's why I've done the category for you because uh, I thought you'd. Uh... Honestly, it broke my heart. It is sad, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go with Lucito Suarez. Luis Suarez, yep, after the 2014 World Cup, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah, because then he went to Barca that exactly. window and, and couldn't start. 
Yeah. Now I'm gonna struggle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, wait. Rio, I think, got done by doping, if I'm not mistaken, mm. in 2012 or 2013. I think at one point it's United career. Let's have a look for Rio. It does, yeah, ban for eight months. Rio Ferdinand is tenable. Who else do we have then? There are some other Premier League ones. Who's done doping in their career? Can be for other reasons. Oh, I could be off. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, in the Prem. Did Cantona got a ban for kicking that fan? <laughs> Let me say Cantona. Edit Cantona, singer songwriter now. I'm pretty sure he would have got a ban for that, surely. He literally karate kick the guy literally yeah i think he was banned from the french national team as well at some point but yeah kung fu incident and banned from football yeah that eric Cantona is tenable let's go with eden hazard i'm not sure if he got banned for that ball boy incident or not oh i'm gonna let you have it yeah I, just just for remembering that he received a three match ban which is about a month anyway you see yeah. that guy runs like a what is it now he runs a company oh really the, the ball boy does yeah the ball boy's like they've done a picture more recently i've seen it recently he's got like hazard to promote the product that he says <laughs> that is cheeky you know, you know do you remember when you kicked me mate <laughs> okay uh who's next a few more premier league ones more recent ones as well maybe currently ongoing oh tonali there we go sandra tonali is uh, sendable oh okay uh, you're reminding me then there was one juve player his name is fagiolo that also got the ban for the betting yep seven month ban for him for betting let me say val buena and carry benzema with the french national team oh that's an interesting one i think that does worth both th both those two to be fair so I will, I will let you have them. How many is that? That is nine. One more to go. One more to go. Let's Maybe end. somebody that recently came back from a ban. Recently came back from a ban? Yeah. He was on a award show the other night. Oh, uh, Ivan Tony. <laughs> I'm far too nice with the clues, but yeah, that no, is you the are, You uh, are very, one. very nice with the clues. Moving forward, Luke, the next time we do this, no clues, please. No clues. Yeah, yeah. Question is with Val Buena, in my head, they were banned, but they might not. I think if it was like almost like, if it's an official ban or not, if that makes sense. Mm. If not, then... It's fine, you can take them off, worst case scenario. It is a ban, but it's not like the same, like it's not like a FIFA ban, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 of course. It's more of a, just an exclusion from the squad. I might have to retrospectively take your points off, I don't know. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> now we've got eight then. Do it yourself now, with no help. <laughs> <laughs> Time to suffer. Time to suffer. Ooh, uh, Benjamin Mendy. Again, is it, is it a ban or is it a, you know... Mm, mm. Uh, I just don't think it's a ban, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to take your life off for that one. Okay, now okay, now you're being too strict. I like it. You know what? Okay, Diego and Wanda Maradona. Like, he must have done doping in the past. <laughs> Maradona was banned for 15 months. That yeah, is I mean, uh, your it, final... <laughs> he yeah, must have done something in the past. Yeah, yeah, failed a drugs test. There you go. Lovely. There's probably a few others you could have said. I think Trippier weirdly got a ban at some point as well for... Um, Ooh. for betting but it wasn't as long I think okay yeah 10 weeks over betting breaches oh wow while he was at Atletico Madrid that, I think that was weirdly why he went to Atletico Madrid because he was kind of trying to avoid the FA avoid if that it. makes sense I see that's smart so he probably got a, a smaller ban anyway from it that way but yeah this one's easy. That is unlimited answers. Yep. Can you name me players that surname has to start with the letter K? Hey, okay. very nice. I mean, I've got it. I'll class it as one, but you could technically do it as two. I'll do Clive at first. Cool, that is correct. That's one. Yeah. Can I get any Derby ones? Any Derby K players? Oh, I've got an American, Casey Keller, mm. the goalkeeper yeah. back in the day. Mm -hmm. Two. Played in like Bundesliga. Yeah, he did. Glad back. Yeah. That's some good ball knowledge there. Yeah. That's the stuff I do know, like random old. American goalies. But, that is so random. You know. How the hell did he? How how the hell did you know he played for Gladbach? <laughs> Can you tell me two uh, Prem teams he played for? Prem teams, Fulham for sure. That's correct. Oh, what were the Prem team would he been at? Like Aston Villa? Uh, Probably not Aston ooh, Villa. No, Spurs and Leicester. That's Spurs, that was it. Yeah. Is there anything blatantly obvious that I missed? Yeah. Now yeah. I'm looking at it right now, and there is oh my god, there is mm. some obvious, some big, big obvious yep, names. Yep. Maybe I'll take the second Clive as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Ronald Koeman. There we yes. go. Yes, that Koeman. wasn't one of the big ones, but yes, three. You know what? In the same way you've helped me, let me let me let me, let me start helping you. That's a Ballon d'Or winner. Ballon d'Or winner with a K. Kaka. There we go. There yeah. we go. There you go. Absolutely rinsed Angry Ginge. Oh, he did. He did him badly. Did did Drogba. Drogba went straight past him as well. Yeah, it did yeah. I don't know if you remember it. It used to be on Sky. They used to do like the, the like the retired league. They do the five or so like ex pros, and they'd all play against each other. That's so you what... get like David Shinalar and Beardsley and stuff like that. That's what. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen it. That's what PK has created. He's created. Yeah, them. yeah, I've seen a bit of it, but not not a lot because obviously it's not on too free. But Aguero was playing that at some point. Aguero wasn't he? played it. Cassius played it. David Villa, yeah. Puyol played it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I want to watch. I don't want to watch current football. I want to watch all these old people. Exactly, exactly. Bring back the memories. Uh, you're missing. You're missing quite. A few, you're missing quite a big players. Uh, one currently one of the best players in their position. 
position. Any 11 to choose from? You no, know, he is, uh, he's a forward. Forward, okay. Forward player with a K. I used to do these ones on timers. I'm glad I didn't do that anymore because I'd just be panicking. <laughs> trying, to, trying to think of players with a K. National captain. National captain as well, Jesus. Oh yeah, Harry Kane. <laughs> Harry Kane, there we go. There we go. Oh, actually, if, uh, I mean, it's the same surname, but there is a Todd Kane who plays football, but I got, I'll just go for the one Kane. I'm going to scam Kane's like that and Clive Hurts. That's another Spurs legend. Spurs. Oh yeah, Jurgen Klinsmann. There you go. Another one, fair, well. just... another one as well. Yeah, another one <laughs> on top of Klinsmann. Oh yeah, Robbie Keane. There we go. And another one as well. <laughs> you mentioned two players I wasn't even thinking of. Oh yeah, Ledley Keane. There, there we go. Catch. There we go. I managed to scam three from Spurs. Just from... <laughs> oh yeah, Eunice Cabal. I mean, he's not a Spurs legend, but another <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> Spurs. That's the way my brain works. Though, like you, you yeah. unlock a door like that, and then I go, yep, bang, bang. So that's two, four, six. Yes. Eight, nine, so one more, one more to go. One more to go. I do want a Derby one, but the only K I can think of is Kenny Miller, the old uh, Scottish striker. Mm. He's not, he's not with us. Uh, Kenny Miller, I remember him. He played, he played in the Prem. He uh, got Derby's only w win in the Premier League yeah. against Newcastle. That him, goal. him then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, nah, yeah. Oh, what's his name from Napoli? Kvarts, Kvartsiolia, whatever his name is. You know what? You know the same way you told me. I, I, I'm not going to give you that one. I, I want you to say his full You're not name. Let me have it. I, 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 I want you to say his. Full Full name in the right way. Go on. I can't do it. That's that's all I do. I just go Kvarts Amelia, whatever his name. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> that's ten. That's ten. Yeah. That's ten. Kvarts, whatever his name is. <laughs> I just I'm an awful human being. What is it? Kvarts Celia? How do you how do you actually say, do you know how to actually say it? Or no, you just, no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know no, that's what I mean. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I'm sure it's not the way you said it. That's what I mean. Like it's still not right. <laughs> uh, I call him Kvicha. Kvicha or Kvara? Yeah. Yeah, Kavicha Kavachskelia, I think yeah. is... Yeah, let us know in the comments, guys. How do you say the Georgian left winger? But yeah, I think you do win the episode. I, I absolutely frauded the Premier League goal involvement. Well, I don't know why I just didn't go like... In my head, really should have like a 2020 season, but apparently not. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do check out Faisal. Drop him a follow and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.